Our World Today, January 2010. Every five seconds, a child dies of hunger. 13 million hectares of land vanish every year. 30% of humans have no access to education. We have more modern slaves than ever. 10% of our population own 80% of the worldwide wealth. The earth has resources to feed 12 billion people. 1.1 billion people live in extreme poverty. 840 million people are undernourished. More than 1 billion people have no access to clean water. It's not enough to merely point out these problems and their causes. We've had enough of that. We want to bring about change. Is this possible? Are there realistic approaches to solutions? Solutions to which everybody can contribute? Or are we powerless, a mere puppet in the storm? This is how we see it. Picture mankind as a tree. A tree that has grown over the last 100,000 years. The individual leaves are the outward appearance of mankind in today's time and age. We've reached an enormously high standard of living. We dispose of a sheer inexhaustible choice of consumer goods. Tremendous technological progress and innumerable forms of entertainment, boundless mobility and global networking. But such a variety of possibilities and the unlimited access to luxury harbors undesirable side effects such as greed, racism, cruelty to animals, violence, hunger, slavery, waste, pollution, to name only a few. For years, we've been taking target-oriented measures to eliminate these problems, however, without being able to record significant achievements. The problems just seem to increase or shift to another area. Over the years, the absence of success in our approach is discouraging. One feels helpless. We might be examining our leaves from too close up. Let's zoom out. Looking at the tree now, you observe that also the branches are infected. The branches symbolize the awareness of mankind. Their values are seriously tarnished. Social justice, peace, trust, freedom, love, care. Proceeding from the diseased tree trunk downwards to the roots, we reach the subconscious of mankind. Subconsciousness, portrayed by the roots, is the bearer of the ultimate problem and the real cause of illness from which the entire tree is suffering. Based on the analysis of our problems, we have reached the conclusion that the main cause lies within our own ego. We believe that the primary initiator of all grievances in our world is triggered by the dominance and destructiveness of our ego. It's the root of virtually all dysfunctional attitudes and behavior and its consequences. For every truly virtuous person, there are 999 complacent ones. Love gives away, egoism borrows. Our roots, in other words, our subconsciousness, are nourished by the earth and water. This breeding ground is our formative environment, our society with all its prejudices, our upbringing in the family circle, the schools we attend to, as well as the media. This environment shapes our subconscious mind. Our beliefs and values are environmental constructions we are told to be successful, sexy, wealthy, famous and powerful, to put our own needs before the needs of others. There is no mention of the benefit you gain for yourself by selflessly doing a good deed for someone else. Our society celebrates egoism. Everyone is on the pursuit of their own fortune. Everyone is measured by their success, regardless of how they achieved it. The Awareness Trust has decided to nurture the breeding ground of our subconscious mind. We are sprinkling it with innovative, progressive and specific education. We exemplify it through our own lives, through simple and selfless deeds, through the unrestricted truth, as well as through compassion and love. The first thing is to be honest with yourself. You can never have an impact on society if you have not changed yourself. Great peacemakers are all people of integrity, of honesty, but humility. We've developed several projects on the basis of education, exemplifying through our own lives, serving, 
compassion and love. We are seeking to create an alternative and communicate it through the media. We want to demonstrate new ways, technologies and thought patterns. We strive to question old structures and cultivate a new awareness. The denominator to which nearly everything is reduced today is egoism, not yet love.